Okay, second graders, our next step now is to complete a T-chart about what game we think is the best game. So this means you need to have three big ideas of why it's the best game and then two key details for each big idea to give more detail and go more in depth. Remember our big ideas are kind of like a grocery list and our key details. We're not writing in complete sentences yet. We're just planning our writing out. So I picked Uno on my last video where we did the brainstorming. So now I'm gonna give three reasons why I think Uno is the best game. My first reason, family time. My second reason, it's a game of luck. And my third big idea of why I think Uno is the best game is going to be, it can be a quick game or a long game. Okay, now I'm gonna add more details. So family time, we usually play Uno in my family at every holiday. And when we play Uno, it's usually one of those times that we're always like having conversations. Nobody's on their electronics and we're all just enjoying each other. So um, I like that we get to really talk to each other. And have fun. It's a game of luck. Um, there is, I guess, some skill involved, but I think it's a game of luck because it just depends on the cards that you're dealt. So cards in your hand. And cards, the cards in other people's hands as well. You don't know if they're going to, um, as in my family, we call them vicious cards are the cards where people end up giving you where you have to either skip a turn or draw more cards. We call those vicious cards. So game of luck, you don't know if somebody's going to hit you with a vicious card or if you're gonna hit them with a vicious card. So I'm just gonna say um, you, vicious card is gonna be my next key detail because you don't know who has them or when they're gonna come up. Okay, and quick or long game. Um, I like that sometimes it can be a quick game, but we've had some Uno games where they go really long. So it just depends on the kind of time you have. It's okay if you play it by the rules and go to um, whoever has the 500 points, or sometimes you could just make it one round, whoever wins that one round. So you can adjust the time limit for, your, for what you have to get done that day. I'm going to put adjust length of game. Um, quick or long. I'm also going to put that it can be um, a portable game. There's some games that you can't really take with you. It's really hard to take an Xbox or a PlayStation camping with you or to even take some of the other board games with you because of how many pieces they have. Um, Uno is one of those games that's very portable because it's just a deck of cards. So that also lends to it being easy to play. So I think instead of making it quick or long, I'm actually going to get rid of that big idea because I just said something that made more sense to me. So instead of quick or long, I'm going to put easy to play. And that's okay. It's okay if you're writing and all of a sudden something else sounds better and you want to change it. That's what good writers do. They change things as they're working through the writing process to make it better. 
usually our first draft is not the best one. We wanna keep practicing and keep fixing mistakes. So this is my T-chart. I still need to include my um, transition words. I do not have a topic or conclusion yet because that comes with my core four. So I'm gonna say, first of all, Then I'm gonna say also and last. Okay, up next will be the core four. 